course. No. Yes, yes. So you said that only when you have a certain volume of notes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Keep going. Yeah, and then and then I, I keep watching again because then it starts to make more sense mm. as my volume of my personal zero casting grows. Yeah, you know, and uh, I think in my personal zero casting, I think I have about fifty permanent notes, uh, more or less. Mm. I, I wrote about anything like I am a sales executive, so I I I like to write about leadership, about career, about stoicism, about mm. like trust uh, all the things like many different things and i keep relating this and i think at this moment uh i'm i'm i think i i got a little bit lost during the navigation i start to navigate and and then and then i, I have the question if i'm doing the first navigation right or am i doing the permanent nodes at the level of the tables i'm connecting the things that mm, you know it it really connects or just when I create this, I thought that this makes sense to connect, but later on, you know, and, and also I think, for example, when you write the first permanent notes, you don't have uh, much, many relevant notes attached to it. So I think you should review it later. Is this yours? So, yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and also, on the retrieval side, so to retrieve the information, I I wrote a, a training to my sales managers, mm. and uh, I pull a lot of things from my zero casting, uh, referencing the blocks and the permanent notes. But then later, when I come back to the permanent to my to my zero casting, I don't want to see those things referenced, in, you know. But so. But I also want to keep track where I'm using this information. So, you know, I say, what is the best way to retrieve information to navigate on the zero cast? And so this is my the point that I'm that I am now. So let me just double check here. So since since September, October, you've been creating your own zero casting. Yeah. You have about 50, 60 permanent notes, correct? Yes. And are you following the structure? With the permanent yes. the note at the top, permanent note, and then the three child blocks. Perfect. Perfect. And then uh, what you're having trouble is retrieving it, the information, and then organizing the information. Correct. Yes, uh, I think navigating, first, navigating, mm -hmm. and then uh, retrieving. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because I don't feel that I, if I just like copying the information, I think I will. I want to keep track where I'm using. Perfect. Also. Perfect. You know, can, we, can you open up your? Uh, can you share your screen so I can see your see your graph? Sure. Let yeah. me. Uh, I'll I'll open mine here. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I don't know if you're experiencing this, but I think our shared graph is have is being so heavy yeah. that it takes like fifteen minutes to update. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. We what have is... over a hundred thousand blocks. My God. I mean, think about this. Like we've literally got close to double our Rome book club one and Rome book club two combined. My and, God. And that's just because everyone's writing in Rome. Yes. And I think that's pat yourself on the back. You know, I think that's an amazing, yeah, yeah. the more people that are writing out their thoughts, the less people are staying ignorant to who they are, you know? Yeah. And I think that's, I mean, that's amazing to me. Yeah. You know, you know, I'll tell you one thing that I started doing that uh, I, I think you don't know, but I started doing a playlist on my personal role with yeah. your playlists, <laughs> with your, like the music. They're so nice. We should yeah. put in those in the Spotify to people to, yeah. to keep listening to it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. So I, right. Yeah. Yeah. I copied the link. I put in my personal graph, you know, yeah. and I'm building like a, 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 a playlist of the Room Book Club 3. <laughs> that's actually really smart just so there's a, a central plate like a single place you can just go for like guided writing exercise music i think that's really smart yes so let me let me yeah, pull my screen look. here perfect oh. many of things will be will be in portuguese but i it's okay i understand it. but the, the thing will be exactly like yours even the even the the css here so, you know, yeah. So there's like algorithms of thoughts, you know, career, 
uh, investments. Can you click and on the inline link references? Yeah, for example, here. Perfect. Self help. What what is uh? Okay. Let's go back up to the top real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you do this? Can you can you share this just for temporarily? Can you share this database with me? Yes. Uh, Bohan at bohan.com. You can you can stop this afterwards, but yeah, uh, to editors. Yes, uh, uh, editors can only. No, 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 is no. It... no, no, the, the, you know, the square box that says editors. Oh, here, here. Yeah, yeah. Just type in bohan at bohan.com, B E A U H A A N, uh, one, one B, B E A U H A A N, A U, uh, U, is, is... U, U, B E A U, U. I put it, in, I'll put it in the shared graph here. Voila. I put okay, it in the I chat. Think... Okay. Nice, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. This is what so, I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. And then you can watch me here. Okay. I'm going to go in here. Great. Right. Up a new tab, and I'm just gonna open up Rome. This one, no? Rodrigo test? Yes, yes. Voila. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I, I, I just need to know what's going on here, right? Great. Uh, in, why is no fleeting notes? Yeah, I think this this was like one of the the first ones. I think where I, I I forced myself to to start yeah. writing at least to test the structure. Okay, perfect. Uh, does this mean career? I'm gonna yes, zoom. career. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Career. And then this is, but underneath career. Okay, so you organized it with career. I see what you did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, you see one of the trainings that refer in this thing that I use it, uh, this, this permanent note there, but when I open the, you know, I, I think I feel weird to have this mentioned. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like having this here. So what I do is I'll, I'll take the permanent note information and I'll paste it as text. So Great. I'll replace with text. And then that way it's not, it doesn't link to this, you know, Got it. Got or it. you can go to the daily notes page here and, and link it to this. Cause if you link it, if you link it in the daily notes, if you copy that block reference, Oh uh, yeah. Then it, then it doesn't, where'd it go? And I go back here and it's this here, right? Yeah. It's the same information, but now it's away. But it's linked. Awesome. It's linked. Does that make sense, though? It, it's linked yeah. to this now. And in yeah, and if I click on this or this block, it's here. You know. So I, I instead of the permanent note in the Zettelkasten, you use the permanent note from the daily notes page. Mm. That way, it doesn't show up. You know. Got or, it. Or you can replace makes, this text. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Because you want th this is the most important part. Yeah. Exactly. Why would you do? Uh, it, you know what? What this seems like. I mean, I, mm. it doesn't matter what what language is. I I understand what's going on here, but. It feels a little top down, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're it's, right. Because it, it's it's the the Zettelkasten. It's it's. Let me show you mine. 
what happens is you want to have it where you don't know what's going to, what's going to happen next. And that's where the insight is. And it's, it's conversations that you're growing out. And, and so even though I started with this, I don't know where this is going to go. And, and it's, it's when I, mm. when I, ha when I have a, when I have a conversation, like, so this is all basically about story and storytelling. Right. But when I made this, this note, this was my first top level parent block when I was talking about Zettelkasten on October 14th, when I made this note, I basically shift clicked into the, into this. And again, none of these notes were here. Right. Mm -hmm. And I looked at these and I was like, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit anywhere else. And because it doesn't fit anywhere else, I had to start a new top level block. And so I wasn't trying to say that this is what I needed to write about. I was just going, okay, I don't see anything else here to write. And so when I see this, I'm just, I don't, I don't know if that's how you did it, but I don't know because this is what progression of career, right? I yes, yes. And then changing yeah. jobs. This, like, this is great, but I just don't know if this came before this or did you do this and You're then, right. you know what I mean? And it's, You're it's, right. it's, it's holding on to that top down. And when you want to have a landing page, right? If you just do, I'm just going to do testing here. You can delete this page, okay? If okay. you do testing, what you can do is you can go in here and you can do top down here. You can do top down here. So you can go, okay, this one is dealing. I'm just going to, I'll delete the block references. This is progression of the career. This is the career, career name. And then this is the sort of like you can, you can do top down once you have the notes in there, but it's, I hope this makes sense. So basically when you want to do top down, you can just create a page when you want to do an output mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you drag over the information. But what's beautiful is that you can go into this permanent note, see the relevant notes, and then you can go uh, click in this. I don't know what this means, but, and then you can take this information and bring this here as well. And all of this information can be replaced with text. And then mm -hmm. that way it doesn't mess the structure of the Zettelkasten, you know? Because now it, it, it went away here. But you, so it's almost like you do all this work. Well, this one, obviously. Let me replace this with text as well. So basically you do all of the permanent notes bottom up. But when you want to mm -hmm. export this into a manuscript, you do top down. And, and I'll show you here. Let me go to... Uh, Thread a palooza. So this is my thread of palooza. And, and basically what I did was I, I had, let me, I'll, I'll shift click this into the sidebar and I'll go to my permanent notes page. So I had sort of this outline and I was like, this is what I wanted to start with. But then I didn't, like I started with that outline, but then I, I would go through all my notes and then I would drag it in here. And as I dragged it in here, that's how I was able to start having like bottom, top down structure. Like, okay, it. this is where this fits. I can move this up. I can move this down, but you see how it's, it's numbered. And, and, and yeah. that's where it's like creating the Zettelkasten is like putting on that hat. Like, okay, right now I'm just thinking bottom up, bottom up, bottom up. But then, when you're doing output, you put on a different hat and you're like, okay, now all my notes are there. Now I need to go top down. How can I organize mm -hmm. this? And when you want to organize something, then you have to do top down. Like top down is the best way to do that where you go, okay, this is, this is what I want to do. Like what, what a Zettelkasten does. That's my sort of top block. And now I start mm -hmm. adding information to that. And I go to the next one, adding information to that. If that makes sense, but then, but then this is just a page. This is just the page that I've made. And it's sort of like the same thing here. I just made a test page here. You drag it all over. And before you, uh, you know, after you drag over all the, the, these notes, I, I like to replace with text because I don't like getting it confused. Right. And mm -hmm. so I'm just going to replace mm -hmm. all this with text and you can highlight and you can highlight everything and then replace all this text, you know, replace with text like that. And then, and then, so just confirming my understanding, I, and I agree. 
for creating information, the bottom up is, is make totally sense for me. And uh, you're right, I was like more top down at the beginning, just to try to not mess all the the first permanent notes. And then to retrieve like you were doing on the on the testing page, you first you you drag the reference blocks to to this page, then you replace a text, even if you lose the the where you are using the the permanent source after that right exactly you i mean I, you don't yeah, yeah go ahead no you, you do you like to keep track or on, on how valuable each permanent note has been to you or how many times you are using this or no you doesn't matter this is how i look at it i mean it's it's everyone's workflow is so different you know, because if you're going to do a thesis paper where you need to have the references for everything, then you have to make sure that when you're doing your output. So after you have this outline here, you have to before you change this all to text, you have to make sure that you know where the references are. Mm. You yeah, know? yeah. And, and if you and let's just do this, for instance, OK, I'm going to delete this one more time and I'm going to go career and I'm just going to again, I'm just going to act like I, I'm going to create something and I open this up and I'm like, OK, this is a great reference note. I'm going to bring this over. Mm -hmm. I, I want it fast, you know, I want it fast, right. quickly just bring this all over here and I'm going to jump to this note and I'm going to go, okay, this is great. And, and I go, oh, this is a great literature note. And then I go in here, right? And so now I'm going to open this page. And this is just how I'm doing it. You're going to figure out your way. And now all of these are block referenced, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I want to go back and find out where this information is coming from, I can go, okay, this is coming from this one. Okay, so I'm going to copy that block reference and I'm going to do command K. Okay, that's one and that's and then I can change this to text mm -hmm. or whatever that looks like. I don't know what your workflow is going to be. It could be, Got it. You, you know what I mean? Like your workflow could be much easier, but I'm just pulling in information and this leads back to here. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like, okay, now I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. Okay. I can go, okay, this is coming from this one. I'll copy that block reference, whatever that looks like. And I'll do that. And it's sort of, okay, now I can change this to replace with text. And, and it's, it's, it's about getting all the information that you've, that you've mm -hmm. done, bringing this into another page. And in that page is when you start building out what, how, the, how you're going to structure this manuscript. But I can't say that this is the perfect way to do it because I don't know. I don't know what your output's going to be. I just know that if you're going to pull things in from your Zettelkast, then that you have to unlink it. Because okay. Because if, if you nice. keep it linked, if you keep it linked, then it's going to show up in the refer in the re in the relevant notes in the perm in the Zettelkast. Then. Exactly. And, and and I and I don't think it's nice. Yeah. No, because then it's going to look like this. You know. And you're yeah. like, oh, but I don't want that. You don't want that information there. This is sort of like a firewall, you know? I agree. So yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter so much to keep tracking in the zero cast and, uh, or I can do it the other way that you show us, that show me like, you know, put in, go into the, that page and, and reference the, on the daily notes page. You can just do that or whatever that, you know, I don't, I don't know what that looks like, but even if you do this then you go back to the permanent notes page, it's still going to show up where it's weird. You know, you don't want the, you don't want the conversation to be diluted with references to the output. You see how it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. So to prevent that you have to do replace with text or you just, you go and, and you work on that. And then that's like, it, 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 the, it cannot link back to the Zettelkasten is what I'm saying. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And it's yeah, just the, how it's just how the block referencing works. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. But you can block reference anything else, just not the the this permanent note. You know? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's right. And uh I hope that helps. I hope I hope that makes sense. Yeah. It makes total sense. And what's the way that you do for navigation? Like when are you you navigating you through your zero cast and i got a little bit lost when i start to open things and then i whoa where i am you know let's let's i'm 
I'm going to go back to your permanent notes page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, I already see problems, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So you'll notice how a lot of these are, sort of, these, a lot of these are sort of top level parent blocks, right? Mm -hmm. And top level parent blocks basically mean you have to know where your conversations are going. And so when you look at this conversation, you can see this thread, you know? And it's about, you need these threads that are going in. And so when I, even with, even with the notes that I have, it's not that I don't have that many top level parent blocks. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's only because I had to. And so the more threaded converse, like these are all my second level parent blocks. And then in those, I have third level parent blocks. And, and these are the conversations though. And so right now, when I look at your, your permanent notes, you, you have conversations, but then they're sort of jagged, you know, it's like, but, and it's like how I, it's like, it's like thinking about a list it's like this. It's like, you can have a five minute conversation on the telephone, or you can have a two hour conversation on the telephone. And it's like, which one is going to be able to show you more of what you're thinking, you know? And if you, if you can go in sort of, let me go and expand everything. If you can sort of go in, go inwards, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then it's like, okay, I can follow, let me follow this line of thought, overall objective, attention, attraction to sexual selection, reasoning, vulnerability, you know, and then it's, I go in here and it's like overall objective, awareness, action, instant gratification. And you have to build this in, you know, cause these are the, these are the conversations and this is going to show you the clustering and, and you have a little bit of the clustering here. Like this, this obviously shows algorithms, Zettelkasten implementing Zettelkasten in Rome. That's a conversation right? Mm -hmm. But then you go here and then it's just, you go to this point and then it's like, why, why couldn't these fit into the conversation yeah. that you have over here? And to me, that tells me that the conversation that you're having with the Zettelkasten is not really a dialogue. It's more like an archive. Yeah. It should be that point where, I mean, like, when I was building mine out, it, it got to that point where I was thinking about the notes that were in here, you know, constantly. And then I, and as I kept on adding new permanent notes, what happens is that's the conversation. And then I, you know, and when I'm not taking notes and I'm, you know, walking the dog or going to the grocery store, I'm still thinking about it and it should, and it has to get to that point where you're thinking about it. And, mm -hmm. and let, let me just take a look. Let me just take a look into, into the permanent note as well. Like, this is fantastic, right? But let's take a look at other, other notes here. I'm just going to jump around here, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this. Like, I don't, why, why isn't there anything here? Yeah. You know? It was my reflection. It was yeah. out of my mind only. Yeah. I'm just going to keep looking here. And, but but it, this doesn't tell me anything. You know what it's like? It's like, it's very, it's shallow. You know, the depth of the, so if I look at my permanent, like even like, okay, look, this is like some of my new, my top level ones, right? But even here, each one of these notes has abstractions. This is from November 14th, you yeah. know? And it's just like, it has to have, even, even let's take a look at this one. This is my very first permanent note. And even then it's like, you have to have the abstractions in there because this is what's telling me what this is about. And I didn't even have a, right. like, well, this is my literature note. Obviously the, my structure changed, but this is my very first permanent note. And so if, if you have that depth in every note, then you can trust in this. Cause I feel like you don't trust in your Zettelkasten right now. You don't trust this. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like, it's not formidable. It's not strong enough. No, you're right. It's like, uh, I think, uh, at the beginning, I was approaching this as an archive. You're totally right. And I'm just, I'm looking here. This is great. Right. But I, I just don't know. This to me is information though. 
Yeah, yeah. What yeah. would be more powerful if you were talking about what resonated with you about this information? Yeah. If that makes sense. And, and I've seen your work, Rodrigo. I mean, your, your work is fantastic. Can you, can you uh, tell me one of your permanent notes? Well, the... In, your, in the graph, just so I can take a look. Yes, the learning. Okay. Learning is, a, is one of them. I mean, I saw the work. You, you did all the abstractions. And if you did that with all of the 35 notes that you have, 40, 50 notes that you have, then the strength of this dialogue partner is, yeah. you know, the, the, the thing is you, you get, you got some of the first ones, the, I think one? later on the, yeah, the learning this one or yeah. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. I, I, yeah, I learned. Learned. And, and if you, and if you had this right for this, like this is good, right? But it's just information. This you're gonna like. What's the point of having this information? It's not. It's what well, this doesn't resonate with you. But if you said, "Oh, okay, the four, the number of stocks hitting 52 week high exceeds the number hitting low," this reminds me of this. This reminds me of this, mm -hmm. indicating extreme greed. Okay, when I think about greed, people are bullish. Okay, when they're bullish, they they act like this. This reminds me of you know this overconfident person who felt you know what I mean. And it's just like boom, 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 yeah. boom. And then this fleeting note gives you information to when you go to this and then you remember this now yeah and and so and then look at this this is beautiful i mean this is your notes i mean obviously you know how to do this yeah i think the i think uh at that time when i wrote that one i was i was not aware on, on yeah. this conversation that part was i was approaching like a second one yeah yeah, if you, for example, you, you can open one that I wrote yesterday uh, about uh, auto control or temperacy. Uh, but even this one, Rodrigo, it's light. No, yeah, this it's is February yeah. 12th, you know, and it's still light. And it's like, so, so basically what it is, it's like when you, you wanna have it as strong as possible because if I don't trust in the system, then I don't wanna do it. I have to be able to trust in this dialogue partner, but for me to trust in it, I have to make sure that it's as strong as possible, as formidable as possible, as well-versed in different topics as possible, you know, and, and it has to have that sort of, I can point back to the evidence too. Mm -hmm. So everything that I'm adding to the Zettelcast and my dialogue with my dialogue partner has evidence. This is why, you know, the journal of thoughts and the daily and, and just your thinking thoughts, I don't add. Not yet, because I want it strong. And if I have evidence where I can point back to like the literature notes and the reference notes, if I can point back to the reference material, then I know that it's strong. And I, Absolutely. Feel, like I, I feel like that's, that's the only thing. And you, you have the structure. I would say, you know, either if I was in your position, what would I do? I would start brand new. Because the reason I say that is because it took me, let me share my screen. This is my first permanent note, right? September 2nd, right? All these notes down here, let's say, I think this is one of my newer notes, December 2nd. I hit critical mass in three months and it's, Within three to six, and I tell everyone three to six months, three to six months, if you do the work, you'll have the critical mass of permanent notes. But, you know, it's, that's the work. And you know it and you see it. And right now it's just pushing you so you can do it without thinking about doing it. You know yes. what it is. You know what it is. You know, you know exactly what it is. You know how to let do me, it. Too. Yeah, let me let me ask you some questions. Uh, I I I every day I I try to learn about so many different things. What leads me to create end up creating so many top level blocks? Uh, so, for example, I I listen a podcast from Naval. Then I'm reading another 
uh, investment book. Then I have one of Stoicism over here. I, I'd like to, you know, write permanent notes about this, but sometimes uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know if it's because about the low number of permanent notes, it's not, not connecting to other things. Like it's not a conversation. I want to avoid the archive mindset. So at the beginning, what do you suggest? Like keep creating the top level blocks or even if I'm researching different things, I try to connect with the old ones. This is from like, this is from a lecture on theoretical physics, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the location of where it's located. This is overall objective. This is an acting thing, right? Mm -hmm. And right here it says, Overall objective, wholeness, solution, right? So I have an acting thing with another acting thing talking about theoretical physics, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And then this is another one about mathematics, but it's in, but it's in, but it's in story, you know, or let me go to story. Yeah. I'll go to story. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So it, it doesn't matter where the information's coming from. It's that it, it, connects to the conversation that you have going you don't i don't know where the ref i don't know where these stories are like i could go into story and i can find things about zettelkasten you know well, why is that and that's because that's because i'm not i'm not doing top down i'm doing bottom up i like if i only have these notes here and i'm reading something on on mathematics and i look at my zettelkasten and i go it could fit here just by looking at the indexes. And then I go, there's no other place that, that this would fit, so I have to put it here. I put it here, and then I go, this is the conversation that I wanna continue. And so what happens is it's this like, it's the weaving of the mm -hmm. ideas. And so it doesn't matter where your resource comes from. Let's even look at the shared graph. I mean, let's, if you look at the shared graph, I mean, this is why it's so important to, to see this in action. This is the power of this in a group Zettelkasten is that this note has nothing to do with the reference from this note, but they, they make sense, right? Or let's do mm -hmm. writing and note taking, right? Or let's, let's go down even further down. Let's go to learning here, right? We'll go to learning, right? And I'm gonna open this in the sidebar. And this is coming from, okay, this is coming from this book here, right? And then how about this one? Okay, so this is what I just connected, okay? I connected Sonke's How to Take Smart Notes with a lecture from Jordan Peterson about maps of meaning on the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. But look where they're located, learning, frailty. It's on the same branch, but the references are completely different. Yeah. And so you could be listening to this thing and this thing in 10 different things but the conversation is what matters and then let's look at the next one let's look at this one so this is overwhelming right well let's see where this source material is coming from and this is coming from the takeout king i've never even heard of this before so the next basically mm -hmm. the next permanent note is coming from a completely different reference and it's talking about mondays restaurants are closed like what does that mean you know, and that's the power of a Zettelkasten. And that's what I mean by bottom up. When I mm -hmm. go, okay, I'm reading about Wall Street, I'm reading about stocks, then everything about stocks is going to fit inside of there. But it's, it's not like that. If, if I'm reading a book on stocks and I capture a fleeting note and I figure out by doing the first pass, second pass, third pass, then I get to that point where it's like, oh, this could fit over here or over mm -hmm. here, or it could fit in the stocks. But then I just need to reconnect it. You don't know until you do the work. Does that make sense? Does that answer yeah. that question? Yeah, it makes totally sense. And the, well, about navigation, how do you navigate and keep going? Because uh, uh, sometimes I, I don't know if uh, we should click on the, for example, in the relative notes like uh, hashtag or uh, at the page. So how do you keep navigating through the main page and sidebar page? You know, open the things. You're gonna you click on the on the block or at the rash tags. What I? How do you navigate your Zettelkasten? That's what I hear you saying, right? Yes. I, I want you to do this. Can you name me four of your top level parent blocks? Oh, in the 
in, in my graph. Yeah. Well, for example, uh, stoicism, career, and algorithm of, algorithm of thoughts, investments. It's how do I how do you navigate your thoughts? How do you navigate your zettel casting? And if you have to ask that question, then the zettel casting is not talking to you. You know, and that means that there's a flaw. It's fractured. It's like there's a hole in the, in the wall that we built. There's a hole and water's leaking out. And as that water leaks out, it's only going to get bigger and bigger with the more notes that you add. And then it becomes mm. how, how I talk to my Zettel Kasten is that I know every, every note that's in there because I squeezed every, I took 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour to squeeze out everything out of that little fleeting note. And so I might not remember exactly the words, but I remember writing each one of those notes. And how do I traverse? Because it's me. Mm. You know, how, 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 how do you know anything? How do you know memories? How do you know, you know, why is it that you remember, you know, the, the, the sixth grade bully in school, you know? How is it that you remember your first kiss? Or, you know what I mean? Like, how do you remember that? It's because that's you, it's me. And so how do I travel my Zettelkasten is how do I remember what I did yesterday? How do I remember what I did last month? How do I remember the birth of my child? It's like, how do you remember that? It's because you did it. And so if you have trouble doing that, then that to me means that you haven't done it. You, like, I don't mean it like that, but do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, if I have to try to remember, you know, you know, getting into my first fight, then I, I then it's not real. But if I did mm -hmm. it, then I, of course, I, I don't I can tell you every detail about it. You mm -hmm. know, and if I'm reminded, because I'm looking at my Zettel casting, and I see one of the notes, I'm like, Oh, I remember this. But the power is, I don't have to remember it anymore. If I do it right, because I mm -hmm. did all the work in there. And And so it's, I go in here and I talk about this, I can remember what this was about. Oh, this is Price's Law, Pareto Principle. Perfect. Oh, this is like the, the, the circle. I remember writing this. The infinity, in the, in the infinity of the dra dragon's curling of the dragon's tail represents uh, infinity. And it's, I, I look at this and it's like, oh, this is great. And there's another permanent note that's connected to this. I know there is. There we go. You, you, do you see what I'm saying? And then as I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm seeing what I wrote and each one of these notes is, is heavy. It's like, I did the work, you know? Yeah, but, and yeah. I remember a lot, another, another question. When you do like the underneath blocks, uh, you also make as a relevant, relevant notes, those blocks in the branch, in the same branch or not? You also put them as a relevant note in, in the specific, a permanent note, the branching ones, those uh, ones and, and the same branching. Uh, the reason, like you're talking about this, right? So it's like, like this, this branch and the- No, I'm talking in the permanent notes page, you know, uh, if you open, for example, realization, uh, oh, the, you, no, you're the, uh, the yeah, yeah, so you, Exactly. You 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 just put the realization uh, as a relevant note, right? You don't put like the other in the same because when I am navigating, uh, I feel that I should put I should put, for example, the destiny and the others in the same branch. But I don't. I, I see you you don't do this. Oh, okay, okay. So so what you're saying is, why don't why don't you put why don't so why don't you put destiny underneath why don't you put yeah yeah because because it's 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 the it's 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 already connected there's already a relationship going up 
So it goes realization, destiny, motivation, overall objective. So when I'm making this permanent note, I don't need to add destiny, motivation, or overall objective because it's already connected. Mm -hmm. For example, if I go into this permanent note, I already have all of them connected. This is the, this is the relationship that's already in place. Mm -hmm. and, and any other branches is this. This is, a right, so this, this is a completely different branch or conversation. Yeah, this, I think this is the, the navigation that I was talking about. So you open the, the permanent notes and then you go to the, the, the links on the bottom. And, uh, and so it's almost and like move this to one right here. This one, you don't need Zettelkast in here. And this is, oh, this is why it's not connected yeah. either because it's not, it's not even connected to other notes. This note isn't connected to any other note. It's only connected mm -hmm, to this mm -hmm. note above it. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, this note is all automatically connected to this note and this note. Because look, a question. look, if I click on this and I go here, it has all three of the notes already connected. So why are you doing that's the question? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, got it. So it's basically it. all the all the parents that go up. It's like it's like your your father, your father's father, your father's father. That's mm -hmm. that's already connected. It's only it's so so the reason that. You, you add relevant notes is because this is actually a different conversation. Does that make sense? This yeah. different conversation. So you could add, so if you go in here, you would have to add this one as a relevant note to this one. Why? Got because it. this conversation, these are brothers, these are siblings. Mm -hmm. Siblings don't have a direct relationship up. So, if so, I, so, so then, so, so then you happens, put, right? What happens if I have another here, new note, right? And new note, it's, it, there, these are not, this note and this note are not connected. There's no relationship. Because if I, if I go into this permanent note here, in this, in the location here, it Got does it. not show the, the relationship with the brothers and sisters. Got it. So in this, in the case of siblings, then you, you make uh, each other a relevant note. Exactly. Reference. Exactly. Got it. You, but you understand why? It's because the relationship is different. Got it. No, I, I think it clicks when you you are navigating through the through the bottom of the each permanent uh, note. And and it shows it here. And so this is one conversation. This is another conversation. This is another conversation. This is a different conversation. And, and when I'm doing relevant notes, I can, I can add this one, this one, and this one. Because it's not, it's not, it's, re, it's relating to this note. Does that make sense? So this, I, I want to add as many connections as possible. So if I want to add, so if, if it, so for instance, if I'm adding this permanent note here, right? Or let's just say I'm on this permanent note, right? And I want to add mm -hmm. more relevant notes. Let me go ahead and open up this in the permanent notes page. If I want to add more relevant notes, I don't, I can go down this entire thing. I can do this one. I can do this one. I can do this one. I can do this mm -hmm. one because all of these are different conversations, but there, there's no relationship to this permanent note. I hope that makes sense. So did, does that make sense? So no, no, here's a better example, right? So this one is what, this is the permanent note destiny, right? And I go yeah. destiny right here. Okay. I'm going to go okay. all the way down to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to go over here. And if I bring this note over and this note over and this note over, it doesn't matter because it's on a completely different thread of conversation. I am just connecting this note of destiny, mm -hmm. this note with destiny with these converse, with these notes over here. Got it. And, and the idea is I, so, like, I want to stumble upon this note, this note, and this note when I'm, tra when I'm traversing and navigating, but I, I, but it's, I can't go to that conversation because I'm here. So I have to link it. And if I link it, mm -hmm. then they're all here. Well, I'm zoomed in a little bit, but then they're all here. And with one click, I can open it and see how they're connected. And now I can see the permanent note. I can see the relevant note. I can see the literature note and the fleeting notes. And if I have a manuscript here, 
and I see this information and I go, wow, this is really interesting. All I need to do is hold option or alt and just drag it over. Got it. Sorry, it's lagging. I'm gonna stop sharing, but I hope that makes sense. Got it, got it. Yeah, I think I, think I need to... So explain it back to me. This is how I'm gonna know if you got it or not. Explain it back to me, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that I need to, to start it again. I think I will, uh, I will start it over, uh, reviewing each of the permanent nodes, the contents, just to 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 keep those uh, that I wrote after I I learned to you know the the the, the real concept. Lock is a the concept of dialogue versus archiving, uh, connecting this bottom up, and making the the connections on the relevant nodes to the branches where the conversation can continue or is some, somehow related, you know? And I, yeah, I think, and, uh, and for retrieving this, like, doesn't, doesn't um, try to keep like tracking where I'm using the information, just, just get their information that you need to, to build and, and, and go. And, 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 and can I ask you, so if you're taking all these notes and you're connecting all these notes and you keep looking back at these notes and you keep writing more notes and all of these notes are in your words, do you think you're gonna remember these ideas and these thoughts? And so when you need to write a manuscript, you're not really just starting from scratch. You've been thinking mm -hmm. about it and memorizing it and remembering it and associating it and connecting to other things that you've been thinking about. And so it's literally just your brain but in front of you now, yeah, you don't have to remember anything anymore. And it's like, oh, you know, boy, I think I I need to to change the, the archive mindset. For me, it's like the whole life has been like archiving, 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 putting this folder, putting this Evernote, OneNote, archive, and never look it back. So uh, this is the what really means like the dialogue partner, you know. It's not an archive partner, it's a dialogue partner. I, I, I recommend, Rodrigo, an accountability partner, right? I really wanna foster that, like find, find at least, you don't, have, you don't have to dance with everybody, just dance with somebody where mm -hmm. you can share like, hey, I'm struggling with this permanent note, what do you think? Or, hey, mm -hmm. I just got a permanent note, I just added two, two permanent notes tonight, how about you? And then it, it helps it really does mm -hmm. and it makes you feel like you're not doing it alone but you understand how to do this okay can i can i show you, you like you understand how to do this in a way where like you understand how to do this Okay. What have you mm -hmm. been doing? You understand how to do this. And look at this structure. What structure does this look like? That structure looks like the Zettelcast structure to me. You know, you've been doing it already. And so all I, all I, all I'm saying is that you have all the tools in front of you. It's just a yeah. matter of spending that time and, and going, okay, this is important. I want this. This is why I want this. I know how to do it. I know what the, you already see the finish line. That's the hardest part, getting people to see what the finish line looks like. Because if you look at the shared graph and you just take a step back and you think, what if every one of these notes was mine? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, it's so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, that's your legacy. And it's just, and, and I, that's what the whole purpose of this is just to push, is to give you enough trust and faith that you can get there in the next three to six months. Cause it takes time. It takes time to build out each note and build out each note and to process and capture and make sure that that whole process is smooth. We've got another, I, I mean, I, I've got to get ready for the next coaching set. Do you have any other questions, Rodrigo? That's awesome. Bro. I know I, you know, it, was, it is so helpful because I think the, I, I came over the flaws that I have uh, been passing. I think it's, it's much more clear now. Awesome. And I, and I, also, 
I also recommend the best way to learn this is by teaching it, you know, yeah. and just find someone that you can teach or coach or, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Yeah. Like that's the best way to learn this because you're going to go, Oh my God, that's so easy. It's so simple and everything exactly. clicks. But, but again, I'm just going to, I'm going to look for opportunities for that to happen. But Rodrigo, you're doing great. You completely understand the system. You know how to abstract make sure you do the summaries at the top. So it's easy to, when you yeah. are traversing, make sure you do have the summaries at the top because that, that makes it easy so you can see it and just keep going fast. Like I yeah. go fast because I have the summary right there. I, I know exactly what it, and then if I need to open it, it's there. But if I don't need it, I can just keep it closed. Frictionless, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, boy. You know, I can't, I can't thank you enough. So, you know, thank you so much. And uh, we, we see you on Sunday. Awesome, brother. Bye. Thank you so much, brother. Bye-bye. Yeah,